is a simulated network intrusion as part of research to develop artificial intelligence and machine learning for post-breach triage. Let's begin. A UK-based small office network running from September 2023 to February 2024. The administrator opened RDP to facilitate working from home. As part of the scenario, on February 12, 2024, the admin discovered the server was no longer responding and Red Petya ransomware displayed on the screen. Forensic experts were engaged, the disk was decrypted, and a forensic image was taken in NCASE E01 format, also known as Expert Witness Format, secret letters. Your objectives are straightforward and clear. Identify how attackers breached the network. Specifically, assess whether the remote desktop protocol access was compromised or exploited. Establish a detailed timeline of attacker activity using forensic artifacts such as logs, registry entries, file system metadata, and malware indicators. Locate and analyze the Red Petia ransomware. Identify how it was deployed and what files or systems were affected. Assess potential data exfiltration. Determine if sensitive data was accessed, copied, or transferred by attackers. Secret letters, you may now begin. Well, I guess in this video, we got our work cut out for us. So we're going to be diving into real-world style digital forensics investigations using two, well, I guess three essential tools. Autopsy, Red Ripper, and as you heard, my good old AI buddy. From what it sounds like, we'll be starting with analyzing a compromised Windows server and trace the exact steps an attacker took to deliver and execute malware. Now this isn't theory like most of your cybersecurity bullshit videos that you probably watch out there on YouTubes. This is bullshit. It's bullshit. We are going to hopefully connect the dots between system artifacts over here with system artifacts over here and system artifacts over there and system artifacts that's probably in my pockets. And hopefully, you'll learn how to extract evidence, interpret registry activities, and detect lateral movement across a network. So buckle up, my friends, as we expose a few real-world secrets on breach response demonstrations and timelines that piece together how the heck did this malware unfold. Now, I don't know when I'll be back with more videos, and according to my critics, they say hopefully never. But anyways, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because who knows what we'll talk about next. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy this forensic story. This is what Secret Letters discovered. On February 6, 2024, a suspicious file called important.zip was found under the admin user profile. This wasn't sitting in downloads or some temp directory. It was intentionally saved or moved to the user's profile. That tells us someone either downloaded it knowingly or placed it there for execution. Secret letters confirmed the file's presence using autopsy, which gave him the modified, created, and accessed times, all tightly grouped, showing it was interacted with directly. Using Reg Ripper, Secret Letters then analyzed the NT user dat registry file. Here's what he found. Recent docs confirms the file important.zip was recently opened. There's no evidence of a browser download, but he did find a record of the user accessing this FTP path. This suggests that the file may have been manually pulled from an FTP server, possibly using File Explorer or a command line tool. Immediately after that, the user launched these two executables, both part of the sys internal suite, a known admin toolkit often misused by attackers. These executables were stored in the user's profile under download sys internal suite, and Red Ripper showed they were executed, meaning someone used them to remotely run processes. Typed paths found in the registry confirmed that the admin accessed several other machines over the network using direct UNC paths like these shown here. This shows lateral movement was occurring, jumping from machine to machine, likely trying to spread the malware or locate sensitive data. 
Also found in recent docs, ryukreadme.txt, a classic ransom note file name. This tells us that the contents of important zip were not harmless. They contained malware, most likely a Ryuk variant, and it successfully executed on the system. What we can now conclude, important.zip was manually placed or accessed by the user. It was likely pulled from a suspicious FTP server. Admin tools, PS exec, were used shortly after to execute the payload or expand access. The attacker moved laterally across the network. A ransomware note confirms the infection chain was successful. This forensic investigation proves the power of combining file system analysis and autopsy with registry forensics using RegRipper. When used together, they tell a full story, not just of what happened, but how it happened, when and what came next.